guys, it's Missy Lynn, and today I'm here with an IMATS haul. It was IMATS LA 2014 here in LA, and yeah, I live here in LA. I didn't have to travel, but um, I bought a few items. I did not go overboard because I don't like to hoard anymore. Like, I really tried to use all the makeup that I have, and I have a lot of makeup, so I didn't feel the need to actually buy more makeup because I still have a lot of makeup that I need to go through. But I did manage to snag a few of the makeup items that I either ran out of or that I haven't tried before and I really wanted to try, as well as like my necessities, uh, makeup remover, wipes, eyeliner, lipsticks, things like that. Yeah. So without me rambling, I'm going to go ahead and get into my IMATS haul. If you're interested in seeing that, then stay tuned. Okay, so the first night was pro night. I went and I got there like 45 minutes before it actually ended. Well, like 30, 45 minutes and then it took like 15 minutes for them to even find my pro card through the system or whatever the case may be. And then I left my ID in the car so I had to go all the way back and get my ID and then be verified to get in. So I had like 30 minutes. But I did manage to stop by Dose of Colors and it's a new um, cosmetic line. They actually have, um, I want to say like eight or nine different lipstick colors. So I wanted to try a few because it's been like all over Instagram and I really, really love the colors. They're very opaque. They last all day. Like whenever I wore it to the second day of eye match, I didn't have to touch up until like three or four hours later and I was like drinking water, talking, like rubbing my lips together. So the colors are like really worth it. So I managed to pick up a few colors. I picked up this color here. It's a coral color and this one is called Karma. And I'm going to swatch them all for you in the next clip. So I have Karma, and then I picked up this really pretty lavender purple. You can see it. I'm gonna do it like this. And this one is called Love Potion. And they were eleven dollars with the uh, pro discount, and then the next day they weren't uh, priced at forty percent off. They were like I think twenty percent, and then they were like thirteen dollars there. So, and then I picked up this really pretty nude color, and this one is called. Poise, and I wore it to IMATS um, the second day and I loved it so much that I ended up buying the second one. So this is Poise. Oh, and then I picked up this really pretty pink and this one is called Seductive. Okay. And then the last one that I purchased is Dark Secret. It is a really pretty dark purple that I absolutely love and I'm going to be pairing this with like Night Moth and this reminds me of um, of heroin so from MAC so yeah got that and then I also picked up two pairs of lashes from them and they remind me a lot of the Flutter lashes if you guys have seen them on Instagram Flutter lashes are like twenty something dollars a piece and I snagged these for like nine bucks from them so so the first pair that I picked up is called Double Dose And then the second pair that I picked up is called Dose of Drama. The next items that I picked up were makeup remover wipes. And I love these makeup remover wipes. If you guys watched my last IMATS haul, then you guys know that I absolutely love these makeup remover wipes. And I ended up buying eight. They were two for five. So I was just like, oh, well, I might as well spend like $20 worth. So I ended up getting eight packs. bought six of the cucumbers. And they smell really, really good. It smells like cucumber. And it doesn't leave my skin feeling like really oily after I take all my makeup off. Like the MAC Remover Wipes. I, I don't even use those. But I really love, love these. Especially for the price that um, I snagged them for. And then I bought two of the apricot packs. I went to the OCC booth and I picked up two of the lip tars. I picked up one in Cha Cha and the other one in Hush. And I don't know why I feel like I have these two somewhere in my makeup stash or I had them and I threw them away. Like I know I came to IMAX in 2011 for the first time and I bought a lot of the OCC lip tars because they are very opaque and a little goes a long way and they last a long time. But I think I probably threw it away. So yeah, so I bought two of these and they were $10 a piece. And then I went to um, this booth and they were selling lashes. I picked up... 12 of the number 43 red cherry lashes and I'm actually wearing them in the video. I will do a close-up for you guys. 
but I love these. Tatiana actually got me on these. Like, I love them. But her name is Beat Face Honey here on YouTube and on Instagram, and she wears these. She actually doubles them up to make them, like, a lot thicker, but I like these for a very natural look, but it does, like, make your eyes pop. So I bought 12 of the Red Cherry Lashes in number 43. And then I went to Nigel's. I picked up four of the Wispy Lashes. These are the Manda Lashes. So you couldn't be the, that. It was a dollar piece. And then I picked up a number 307, which is some half lashes. So whenever I don't feel like really putting like full lashes on, I can just add them to the very end. And if you have full lashes, you can cut them like up and you can make half lashes. So I bought these. I spent $5 for five pairs. I went to a Peel Cosmetics booth and I picked up two of their lipsticks. If you guys haven't noticed, I am like obsessed with lipsticks because I'm like getting more into color now. Um, and then also spring is around the corner so I really want to have a lot of like pretty colors for the springtime and summertime. So I picked up this really pretty red shade. And this one is called Red Light District. And then I picked up this very pretty vibrant pink. And this one is called V. Just the like letter V. Next I went to this booth. I do not know the name. I want to say it's like Grafton Cosmetics. I believe it's not even on here. But um, yeah. So I picked up two of the um, mineralized eyeshadow. And it's so pretty. This one reminds me of Club. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. And this one is like a really pretty champagne color. And then I picked up some really pretty black glitter. This is going to be just the bomb, like bombage whenever I do a smoky eye. It's going to be bombage. Like, I can't even wait because I have never seen a really pretty fine black glitter like this. So gorgeous. So I got that. And then from them, I picked up an eyeshadow that reminds me a lot of the Club eyeshadow from MAC and also like the blue-brown pigment. It kind of reminds me of both. So, yeah, that. I thought I only bought two mineralized uh, eyeshadows, but I actually bought three, apparently. <laughs> and then I picked up some NYX eyeshadows. I did buy some of them on my NYX products, but because I was the winner and I went through the line, they gave me a few, like, free extra items. But I didn't want to be greedy. Like, I'm not the type of person to wear just because, like, I, I've won the NYX Face Awards that I feel like they have to give me everything for free. Like, I really wanted to try some of their new products, which I could have waited until the party that was going on that night because they gave us amazing gift bags that was, like, 15 pounds worth of makeup. But yeah, but anyway, so I bought some eyeshadows and I was running out of my dupes for a saddle and for a soft brown. So I picked up like two of those. I picked up um, two of the Blame It On Midnight eyeshadows and I used this in a lot of my tutorials. You probably have seen it before. And then I picked up um, this really pretty color called Skinny Dip. It's like a, a, like a nice burgundy burgundy brownish color and then I picked up um, lap dance and this reminds me I'm trying to think of like the color that it reminds me of at MAC maybe um hmm I don't know it's like a really pretty very light tan color I don't know it's called lap dance and then I picked up this really pretty pink it's called pink lady I picked up this really pretty red it's called wild orchid it's like a pinky red then i picked up um two of the oh and then i picked up dance the tides eyeshadow which is very similar to like saddle or brown or brown script i want to say maybe brown script and then um i picked up this damage control which is like a really pretty silver champagne color and I know silver and champagne is two different colors, but if you mix them together, you get this color. <laughs> so I went to Crown Brush and I picked up four um, eyeshadow brushes. Two of them are very similar to the MAC 217 brush. Very, very cheap, very inexpensive, like one third of the price at, of MAC at MAC. So yeah, and they get the job done. And then I picked up this uh, dual fiber blending brush here. 
two of these. So it's like the 217, but it's like dual fiber. And then I also picked up this a Flawless Face Blender sponge. It's kind of similar to the Beauty Blender sponge, but this one was only like four or five bucks. It wasn't expensive at all. The Beauty Blender is like 20 something dollars, but that little thing does some damage. Like that is a sponge of great quality. It like makes your foundation, your highlight, your concealer, it makes it look like a second skin. So I wanted to see if this little sponge would do the same thing, um, the the um, texture of it feels a lot like the Beauty Blender. It's not hard like some of the drugstore sponges that I've tried. I remember trying like the Sonia Kashuk um, sponge and it's like the blue one. That thing was so hard. Like, I was like, no, 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 no. But <laughs> the Beauty Blender, it's 20, 20 something dollars well worth. Like, it was well worth it. That thing is like bombage for real. But this one is not as like soft as the Beauty Blender. Mm, I don't know. Like the Beauty Blender, that's 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 hard. That's a hard little sponge to compete with. I don't know, but I wanted to try it out. It's, it's kind of squishy, but it's not as like flexible as the Beauty Blender. So I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it. I mean, it's a good alternate if you don't want to spend twenty dollars on a sponge but i just don't know if it's gonna get the work done i'll let you guys know so that's that and then i picked up this little jar from parian uh, parian spirit uh sorry if i'm butchering the name but they actually have really good brush cleaner like the that liquid cleaner like makes my white hair brushes extremely white again so I saw this little jar there um, at IMAX and it has this little piece here that has like little holes through and it basically helps you clean your brush. So basically what you would do, you would fill the empty jar up with water, I mean with the, the sponge and then you have this piece, I don't know how this goes, I don't know, I don't know how this goes, but anyway you um you basically fill it up and then you take your brush and you kind of like run it inside and it's going to like this little piece is going to catch like the debris and keep it at the bottom and that way your brush is clean it worked when she did it the demonstration i was sold it was five bucks and like i don't like doing like cleaning my brushes in my hand because after cleaning so many at a time your hands get like really dry it get like really like pruney so this was a great al like alternative to clean brush on um, my brushes so i was like okay well i'll just give it a try it's only five bucks so i'll let you guys know maybe i could do um how i clean my brushes with this i don't know i'll, I'll see i'm trying to think of like how this would actually work how this piece goes oh oh well and then also at NYX, there were some new products. And I saw these colorful little, like, eyeshadows. I thought it was eyeshadows. I'll show you guys. So, okay. So I saw these, and then they had blue. There was orange. There was yellow. There was this really pretty coral color. Like, hot pink, fuchsia, purple. I was like, oh my god, these are so pigmented. But... These are not just eyeshadows. You can actually use them on the face too. They are so pigmented. And I've never seen a black as black as this. So if I can use this on my eyes, my face, my lips. It's meant for like all over your body. And it's called the NYX Primal Colors. And then at Appeal Cosmetics, I forgot to say this. I bought this really pretty ring. It's like a rhinestone ring. Really pretty. And the sister of the owner of Appeal Cosmetics, she sells like, um, like blinged out jewelry and like statement pieces and things like that. And she was selling rings and I think just rings there. And so I bought this for 20 bucks. It's so pretty, really pretty. So that is basically it for everything that I purchased at IMAX. Definitely items that I knew I wanted and that I wasn't just buying to hoard. Like these are items that I knew that I was going to use. Those lashes I'm going to use, the lipsticks I'm going to use, the, um, the, um, the lip tars I'm going to use, my NYX eyeshadows I know I'm going to use because I'm not really that big into like MAC and like the higher end 
eyeshadows anymore. Like at one point I was, but I, I kind of realized that there are some low end eyeshadows that have the same quality and that's very pigmented, sometimes more pigmented than the higher uh, end brands. So yeah, I know I'll use the eyeshadows, I know that I'll use my makeup remover wipes, I know that I'll wear my ring, I know that I'll use that little sponge if it works. Yeah, but I know that I feel good about the money that I spent because I know that these are items that I need and that I'm going to wear and that I'm going to put to use so I don't feel like my money was like just wasted, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my little eye mask haul. Um, if you guys have tried any of these new products that I mentioned, like the Dose of Color or the Pill Cosmetics, let me know. Like, let me know what you think about it. I absolutely have fallen in love with the Dose of Color lipstick, especially Poise. I haven't got a chance to wear the other colors yet, but I'm looking forward to it. But the consistency is great. And I will keep you guys updated on what I think of the new um, products that I got at iMats and yeah that is basically it um, I will also take pictures and post it on my website be sure to check that out mymissylin.com and uh, there's also going to be pictures from the iMats event I went to NYX and Sigma event so I'm going to post pictures on my website as well so you guys can check out those pictures with me and my friends and me and my subscribers. And also go to my vlog channel. My vlog channel has the uh, iMats vlog from day two and day three. So, so that is basically it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you guys are informed whenever I have a new video up. Also press like the thumbs up button. That way I know that you actually liked my haul video. And if you want me to keep doing haul videos, then I need to know. So you guys gotta press that little thumbs up right beneath the video just press the thumbs up or if you're watching on your mobile device there's a thumbs up button like somewhere right here so yeah so that's just how I'll know that you actually like this video so with that being said um, I guess I will talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoy rate and subscribe